It's a family-owned business. My mom and dad started in 1963. We had a small diner in Preston Center. Uh, we didn't own that property, but we stayed there for over 45 years plus. My mom waited tables, my dad cooked. He had worked for a restaurant chain before starting his own business. So I grew up in the business. Yeah, I'm Wayne Adams, and I'm the owner of the Metro Diners in Dallas, Texas. You know, I was washing dishes when I was young. Part of the rite of passage, you start washing dishes, you learn how to cook, you do prep. You know, you have to know how to do all aspects of the business to be successful. Like a national chain, if they would change a the product, most customers wouldn't know. But our customers know if we change coffee or we change anything. So we try to keep everything about the same for many, many years. My favorite thing about working at the Metro Diner is the customers. Always the customers. My name is Beverly Mueller. I'm the supervisor at the Metro Diner in Dallas, Texas. Really a neat area. We're right across the street from Baylor Hospital, but not too far from downtown Dallas, which has had a you know major uh, facelift with the loft living and stuff. So we've got quite a, a variety of clientele. We get a lot of the Deep Ellum crowd uh, after the clubs close at night. We're also real close to uh, Lakewood neighborhood, so we get a lot, of, a lot of residential people, particularly on the weekends. Because we are open 24 hours, we get a lot of Baylor doctors, nurses, the staff, people that are there visiting patients. It's comfortable here, rather than an old cold waiting room. I love my job. Just the people, the characters we get are awesome. My name is Angelina and I work at the Metro Dino at 3309 Gaston Avenue. Basically, most of our customers are family. If you come once, you'll be family after that. I've never had this many cameras on me before. When I first started to work uh, in the diner business, we were getting 15 cents for a cup of coffee. Now, the tax on coffee is just about 15 cents. So things have changed quite a bit, obviously, but we've always been able to, to make adjustments and be able to survive and thrive in whatever economy, because typically people want to come and have a basic breakfast, and those are few and far between in the fast-paced world we live in. Places to go that you can sit down and have a cup of coffee and breakfast.